To create an image or a tile that repeats seamlessly, first start your new project as a single image having the dimensions you'd like a single instance of the tile to have. Next, choose Processing, Pattern Drawing Settings, and decide how many of these tiles you will see vertically and horizontally while working. There is also a panel for setting a shifting offset if you need, where either vertical columns or horizontal rows of tiles are each shifted to some degree per column or row. You can set this either by pixel increments or by relations such as half tile, quarter tile, etc. For this example, we'll create an abstracted tile that could work as a diagonally scrolling background layer for a game's menu screen. I'll start by creating a 64 by 64 pixel image, and I'm setting it to show me four tiles horizontally and four tiles vertically. When we click OK, Pattern Drawing Mode will automatically be enabled. Now you can draw using any of Promotion NG's drawing tools, including shapes, filled shapes, and line drawing. You can draw into any of the repeated tiles being displayed. Although you're seeing and editing what looks like a large image made of many tiles, if you choose Save Image As and save out the image, you'll see only the single tile gets saved. In the second example, we're creating a simple infinitely scrolling background layer for a horizontally scrolling game. The game screen height is 200 pixels, and will make the repeating pattern tile 64 pixels wide. Since this tile does not need to seamlessly repeat vertically, we'll set the number of vertical repeats to 1. In this case, I'm using a brush I pre-created of a pine tree. I can press Shift-Z to freehand stretch the pine tree to add variety of shape and size before I place each tree. I always press Shift plus B to get back to the original brush before resizing again, so I'm not losing pixel detail every time I resize. Once we're happy with the size, shape, and position of all the trees, we can press the period key and D to go back to freehand drawing with a single pixel and clean up any area we'd like to improve. Just save the image and it's ready to use in the game. Thanks for watching.